Welcome back to Seasons, a devotional that's based on my book by the same name. Today, the title of the chapter in the book we're going to talk about is Just Do It. I'm going to share with you a little cautionary tale at my expense, hoping that it will prevent you from some of the pain that I have experienced. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 25, For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Have you ever missed a blessing from God by your inattentiveness to his direction? I have. It all began with a whisper of a whim of an idea that crossed my mind one morning. I should apply for a passport. I laughed off the notion. I had no need for such a thing. My traveling days as a missionary were behind me. However, later that day, I found myself on the Canadian passport website and I filled out half an application before I stopped. I just wasn't willing to pay the application fee for the document that I thought at that time I would never use. A few weeks later, I joined with believers around the world to pray in advance of a major event that was going to take place in Chicago. I would have loved to go to that conference, but I dismissed the idea due to a lack of finances and transportation. I thought about buying a ticket for the event anyhow, but I didn't follow through. My reluctance to pursue these two inner nudges came back to bite me. I was given the opportunity five days before the event, but I would have to be packed and ready to go within 36 hours of the invitation because the people who invited me were going to drive there. My transportation, registration fees, and quite a bit of the hotel room cost would be covered. Unfortunately, even if I had chosen to pay the excessive fees to fast track my passport, the travel documents just would not have arrived in time. God exhorts us to keep our ears attentive to his voice and to be quick in our obedient response to that voice. Much like the unwise virgins in Matthew 25, verse 1 to 13, I did not have any oil in my lap, I was not prepared, and I missed the blessing. I know God forgave me, and I eventually forgave myself for my stupidity. But knowing God to be a loving God of second chances, I started the process immediately to get my passport, and it came in a couple of weeks. A year after that, I was blessed to take an extended road trip from Alberta down to North Central California with my two best friends, and I cheerfully smiled triumphantly as I presented my passport at the border crossing. I'm telling you this tale because it's in the book, but also because I felt today that there are people who are going to watch this, who as I was going through my little tale, you are reminded of some nudges that have been going on in your gut that you know that you have been needing to take care of. And even as I talk now, those nudges are becoming stronger and stronger because I've been asking the Holy Spirit to bring anything that needs to be dealt with in your life up to the surface so you can be blessed. Perhaps you are severely in debt. You've got bills to pay. You don't know how you're going to do it, but you've been hiding the fact that you're in such debt because there's some shame attached to it. Find a wise brother or sister in Christ who handle their finances in a good way and ask them for advice. Perhaps the oil light on your car is blinking red telling you that it needs to be changed. Don't put it off, go get it changed today. Perhaps there is a phone call that you have not wanted to make because you knew the conversation was going to be awkward. Perhaps you keep on thinking about a 
neighbor or somebody in your church or a friend or an internet friend and you just can't shake it. Well, you probably can't shake it because God wants you to get in contact with them to find out how they're doing and to see if they need anything. And if you can't get hold of them, pray. Don't pass off those nudges that you need to do something because they're probably the promptings of the Holy Spirit. I really hope my little cautionary tale might serve to spur you to obey those quiet everyday nudges God sends your way. After all, there could be a blessing just waiting on the other side if you walk through the doors that God's asking you to walk through. And just a reminder, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment if you feel led and share this link with anybody who just popped in your head as I just said this because they maybe need to hear that God is a God of second chances.